I guess a quick, um, uh, we covered, we closed Ohio State out, open day week, you guys saw a little bit of that, so light work back uh, at it yesterday, and again, going to Michigan State, you know, who's played awfully solid um, with two losses, but, you know, outstanding defense, Coach D'Antonio's done a great job for several years, not only there, but at Cincinnati, and he's a defensive coach, they played great defense, uh, they got a tremendous quarterback and Kirk Cousins that can manage a team that when they get their running game going, their run and pass threats awesome. Uh, and they, as always, Coach Antonio and their, their crowd, they're pretty good in the kick game, so they'll keep you on your toes with fakes uh, and all that. And again, they got a lot playing for. I know I uh, haven't been through that the last few years when you have a chance in, con in controlling your uh, division, that I know they're uh, uh, awfully excited about the opportunity, so I would expect them to, uh, to have a tremendous shot in, uh, at us as far as their preparation. I know sometimes you might think, hey, is a team ready to play? I would know in their world they're looking at finishing the season strong. And so to me, I think it's a great opportunity for us if we, as we went through some of our shortcomings this year and to some degree having a slide up swing and what's going on is now going playing a really good team on the road again, but also, you know, you know can we weather a, a really good shot and make it a four quarter contest, taking care of the ball, scoring, uh, playing good red zone defense, making those guys work and, and, and not handing a game to a good football team, making this football team earn a victory against us and giving ourselves a chance to win. So again, a lot of respect for those guys and they're playing well. It'll be a good challenge, but uh, again, with the open date, we're looking forward to it and we'll go from there. Not, not a great deal. No, we, you know, we did a little bit of work uh, saying, you know, it gave us time as coaches to do some prep work. We didn't necessarily over prep as much as with the young guys, get some guys healthy, uh, but at the same time, find balance. Uh, we need to uh, get some guys better, even late in the year with a young team and a team not playing good. So we, there was a, a little bit of emphasis on some fundamental work, whether it just be some fundamental one-on-one -on -one blocking, tackling, uh, some fundamental things in kick game and coverage lanes, protection, whatnot. So, uh, um, you know, it wasn't like, hey, we're committing everything two weeks for one opponent or uh, I guess to some degree there was a little of that, but it's, we, I think we're a little hopefully fresher. I'd like to think hopefully we're from the nicked up side, maybe a little bit more healthy as we go into it. Uh, and we, you know, in a coaching change and with as many young guys that are contributing, it was a little bit of emphasis on the fundamental play and, and not minimizing that and taking that for granted because we need to be, a lot better in a lot of phases, but it, uh, phases, uh, but it all starts with some fundamentals. So we were working stance and and meshes and depths of routes and throwing the ball in time and getting off blocks and tackling, you know, creating turnovers, etc. So there's a lot of fundamental work. Chris is running and doing some things. Don't know if he's quite. Uh, as we go here today and tomorrow, we'll get a feel. Uh, still might be a little short of being uh, up up to snuff. Uh, Donnell Jones is kind of doing everything, did a lot last week, probably about where Chris is. So we'll see if Chris can advance in a week to get in the mix or, or be out. Uh, we're still kind of in limbo with uh, Drew Harden coming off a concussion, and we won't know till midpoint of this week where we stand with him. Peyton Eckerd's ankle, just kind of a severe sprain. It looked kind of bad on, on tape. There's no break or a major deal, but he's probably, as the week goes, Maybe he's probably a week out. Uh, again, just looking at him run yesterday. Um, but we'll see as we get into, you know, today, this afternoon, and we go through tomorrow where that really stands. Who else am I missing? Dusty, Dusty is, is doing some work, but I, same deal. I think st uh, he is running and he is dropping, but then there's some things I don't think his comfort level is there when we're doing some things. So there's, you know, he's, he's in sterile envi environment moving around. I don't know as of yesterday – he had not done any full-out team deals where all of a sudden if something breaks down, you've got to scramble. If we're in Skelly and it's sterile and he's doing a drop and throwing a ball or one-on-one -on -one doing a drop, throwing a ball, he's, he's, he's moving, doing those works and doesn't look overly limited, but I don't know if the confidence and the strength is there for full team quite yet. Yeah, Mick's got a knee deal that's going to be um, – uh, uh, we – again, just kind of, you know, kind of got it whacked the other day and, and – um, uh, I, you know, he, he I, I apparently is going to be limited for this game. We're hoping to get him back for the last contest is the plan.
then you know, how do you prepare the team to go up on the road and, and try to stop you know, what they've been doing when they've been playing as well as they have? Well, I mean, you, one, you control what you control. Uh, so that being said, uh, uh, you know, we cannot have kickoffs out of bounds and, and returns or turnovers that give three, four, five short fields that we've done in some games where the game didn't go our way and it looked like the score wasn't what we wanted. We need to make these guys earn it, go the distance. Uh, offensively, again, as you might have some success and maybe get field position or make a play, you got to try to find ways of getting in the end zone and not selling for getting to the 33 and going for it on fourth down and coming up short or pooch punting or kicking field goals. You don't go on the road and beat good teams with turnovers. Uh, you don't be, I, I heard a comment last night uh, watching the Vikings game where, you know, John Gruden said, you know, you don't beat the Packers by jumping off sides on a field goal team on the road when, you know, and, and so we don't need to play perfectly, but we don't need to play uphill and against ourselves. We need to make those guys earn it um, and make sure that they play well to beat us and that we don't make them look better than they are by, by poor play. So we kind of challenged the guys. I thought, you know, we, for, to, to some degree, we went to the road to Ohio State with a greater sense of energy, a greater sense of purpose, a greater sense of confidence, and we battled, didn't get it done. So we're disappointed and we're frustrated by that, and our goal wasn't to be close. We thought we could win that game, and we didn't. Our goal this week in going to Michigan State is to put a plan together we think will give us a chance to win. Part of that's going to be weathering the storm against a good team. If they make a play, can you come back and make them snap it again? Uh, offensively, don't get in positions where you get in third and longs and allow their pressure and their defensive front to tee off on you because they do lead the league in sacks. So if you're playing behind chains, you know, you're go you know, and you play behind chains when you're playing against a good run defense. So can you get a run game going? Can Trey and our quarterback throw on his terms? And, you know, you just, you know, it's not a difficult deal, but you don't need to make it hard. We don't need to beat ourselves that day. We need to make sure Michigan State beats us.